battled while I was there as well. Now, there's different wildlife in Africa, and as a team, we had several people that were very afraid of snakes, spiders, and just different things that would just happen to come into our house. Um, I'm not so afraid of spiders. They kind of creep me out, and I don't want them in my bed, but I'm okay killing them. Um, we had a day where we came home and found this giant bird in our living room. Once me and another girl had trapped the bird into another room, we realized we had African killer bees crawling all over the floor. But um, staying calm and a wonderful can called Doom helped relieve those fears. Um, probably another thing that I struggled with, um, especially at the beginning, was dealing with the emotions of what I was seeing. And there's no way to describe some of the things that you see. Um, there's no way to tell anybody what it's like to have a newborn die. There's no way to tell anybody what it looks like to see advanced AIDS or to do AIDS counseling. Emotionally, that hits you very hard. And just the, the constant reminder of death, Swaziland's nickname is the coffin of Africa and the life expectancy is 32 years. Death is a daily occurrence. Um, I had a four-year-old little girl sit down in front of me for a CD4 test which determines the progress of HIV. I couldn't draw her blood. Um, I had a day where we had done Operation Christmas Child and I had this little girl that needed help opening her box. Her name is Sikulele. And um, I helped her open her box and spent the day grinning at her and she would come up and grab my hand and smile. And I had so much fun playing with her. But then to see her mom in the HIV positive line waiting to get her CD4 count, those are things you don't forget and those are things that change you. And emotionally, how do you deal with that? Probably one of the fears that a lot of people have is sharing the gospel. And honestly, I've battled the fear of public speaking for years. Um, still hate that with a passion. And the first time you get up, it is a terrifying experience if you're just, I should know this story so well, and why is my heart racing if this is, this should be easy. But God gives you the strength. He gives you the presence of mind and calm. Afterwards, you can't quit smiling. It is an awesome experience. And yes, there is a fear aspect, but it's an awesome time of just seeing God speak through you and use you even in the smallest of things. Me.